the most important element of having this intranasal naloxone approved is that it represents a, a literally a lifeline. Someone who's completely uh, unresponsive, cyanotic, meaning they're gray, they have no oxygen, and not breathing, and you give them a dose of this intranasal naloxone, they don't have to be breathing, it doesn't have to go to the lungs. It's taken directly from the nasal passages, goes into the blood and then into the brain, and you can actually uh, resurrect someone. The, the basis for approval of this intranasal uh, form of naloxone was that you get levels of naloxone as fast as you do by an injection. It'll save, we estimate, thousands of lives a year. And I think that's really the most important uh, important element of introducing or having an FDA-approved form of naloxone. We think this would be the first step reversing an overdose for many individuals, maybe the first step in seeking treatment. So not only, I think, will it prevent deaths, but it will probably prevent people from um, having the type of enduring damage that can occur even if they are rescued. It may even cut down on that. It may cut down on hospital costs and have great societal value. And uh, hopefully it will bring people in and raise awareness about the, the problem of uh, uh, overdose and about addiction to opiates.